Good morning, hello, and welcome to this dated history, also known as TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred to date on years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. The sources of this information comes from the smart device application Today in History, What Happened Today in History, Historical Calendar, and the website on thisday.com. For links to those sources, the music, and anything else potentially interesting that we gather throughout the show, check the underbar of the description below. Anyway, I am A.O. Xander, and I will be getting joined soon by the legendary Golden Loon, eventually. Um, anyway, today is Moon's Day, also known as Monday, June 27th, 2022. Uh, let's see here, what happened on this date in history? Starting us off in the year 1542, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo set sail from the Mexican port of Navidad to explore the west coast of North America on behalf of the Spanish Empire. Dang. That's interesting. Well, that makes sense, because Mexico was uh, part of well, was a uh, Spanish protectorate or something back then. 1709, Peter the Great of Russia defeated Charles uh, Twelfth of Sweden at the Battle of Poltava, uh, after which Charles went into exile. Dang. 1743, during the War of the Austrian Secession, during the Battle of Dettingen, in specific, in Bavaria, King George II of Britain personally led troops in the battle. Uh, this was the last time a British monarch commanded troops in the field. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Three years later, in 1746, Flora MacDonald helped Bonnie Prince Charlie, disguised as uh, Betty Burke, uh, uh, disguised as Betty Burke, uh, an Irish maid, uh, evaded capture by landing him on the Isle of Skye. Huh. Moving on up into 1759, British General James Wolfe began the siege of Quebec. Huh. 1778, the Liberty Bell uh, returned home to Philadelphia after the British departure. Yep. Let freedom ring. 1789, during the French Revolution, King Louis XVI ordered the nobility and clergy of the Estates General to meet with the Third Estates, which was then called the National Assembly. 1857, James Donnelly became engaged in a drunken brawl with Patrick Farrell, who suffered a fatal blow to the head. Farrell died two days later, which made James Donnelly a wanted man and drew the Donnelly family into the notorious feud. Dang. 1890, Cecil Rhodes' uh, colonists attacked uh, Mont Losoy in Matibi Leland. Leland? Uh, wow, some of these names, man. 1896, review of the Paul or uh, Paul Lawrence Dunbar's second book, Majors and Minors, by William Dean Howells in Harper's Weekly, brought the poet to national attention. 1898, a Canadian U.S. or Canadian American adventurer Joshua Solicum arrived in Newport, Rhode Island, completing the first solo circumnavigation of the globe. Cool. A lot of cool things happening today. Also in, 18, uh, also in 1898, Wimbledon women's tennis. Charlotte Cooper defeated Louisa Martin 6-4, 6-4 for her third Wimbledon singles championship. 1914, defending champion Jack Johnson defeated fellow U.S. Frank Moran on points in 20 rounds in Paris, France to retain his lineal heavyweight boxing title. Three years later, 1917, Venizelos took over as Prime Minister of Greece and severed relations with Central Powers, bringing Greece on side with the Allies during World War I. Interesting. So I had no idea uh, Greece was part of the Central Powers. But, well, I mean, they're, they're in the center, so that makes sense. They're right next to Italy. So. 1923, Captain Lowell H. Smith and Lieutenant John P. Richter performed the first ever, uh, the first ever aerial refueling in a DH-4B biplane. Well, look at that. Huh. So they've been fueling airplanes since pretty much the start, almost. One year later, in 1924, during the British Open Men's Golf at the Royal Liverpool uh, Golf Club, uh, U.S. Walter Hagen win, uh, won his second Open Championship, one stroke ahead of runner-up Ernest Whitcomb. Five years later, in 1929, President Paul von Hindenburg refused to pay the German debt of World War I. Yeah, those Germans were really salty for losing that thing. 
1940, the USSR returned to the, to the Gregorian calendar using Sunday as a rest day after six years of using a Russian six-day calendar. Huh. Can you imagine having a six-day week? Like, it's weird. 1915, North Korean troops reached Seoul. Uh, the United Nations asked uh, members to aid South Korea. Harry Truman orders the U.S. Air Force and the Navy into the Korean conflict. Dang, so, so we got involved because uh, the UN. It's interesting. 1959, West Side Story closed at Winter Garden Theater, New York City, uh, New York City after 734 performances. That's a lot. 1959 as well, during the U.S. Open Women's Golf at the Churchill Valley uh, Country Club, Mickey Wright successfully defended her Open title by two strokes from Louise Suggs. 1962, NASA civilian pilot Joseph A. Walker took the X-15 to uh, 6,600 uh, kph, uh, which is 37,700 meters. Is that... Is that kilometers per hour? Are we talking speed or distance? Or both? Um, probably both. Okay, yeah, it's 6,606 kilometers per hour at the height of 37,700 meters, if I'm correct. Also in 1962, Rose Perot began electronic data systems. 365 days later, in 1963, U.S. President John F. Kennedy spent his first day in Ireland. Or his first full day in Ireland. Dang. Welcome to the show, good sir. You, you missed good. quite a lot, actually. I have? Oh, yeah. sorry I'm late. That's all right. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, no, to, to backtrack a little bit on... Well, you know what? We'll backtrack back on the highlights yeah. when we get back yeah, to there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, where was I? Okay, right there. 1969, during the Denver Pop uh, Festival, 50,000 people attended. Frank Zappa, Creedence Clearwater Revival, and Jimi Hendrix headlined with other performers including Three Dog Night, Tim Buckley, Big Mama Thornton, Johnny Winter, Joe Crocker, and Poco. Ah, uh, my time. Know them all. Yeah. 1970, Festival Express opened in Toronto, Canada. The Grateful Dead, The Band, Janis Joplin, the Flying Burrito, uh, Burrito Brothers. Janis Joplin is the person we were talking about before, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, rock and roll. Yep. Yeah. Buddy Guy, Great Speckled Bird, and Delaney and Bonnie and Friends cross Canada get together by train for five shows in three cities. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Not only did you know that they all converged, but they all went at the same time. Yeah. They I'm did. Not, a, I remember seeing a a clip on that whole thing of kind of uh, logging their train trip across Canada. I remember that. You know, when when you think about it, that's really like a. Well, it's nothing really new, but like you know, that's something I would do, you know, for YouTube, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Whenever so you do YouTube a trip. YouTube didn't exist, but that's uh, well, yeah, they were just docu documenting it. You mean to tell me that YouTube didn't exist in 1970? <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. Well, I know that's true because uh, I know for a fact YouTube uh, was started in 2005. Ah. 1971, Your Good Man Charlie Brown closed at the John G uh, Golden Theater in New York City after 31 performances. That's not a lot in That's comparison. Well, like, there's one uh, earlier that uh, West Side Story, I think, it was like 700 some odd performances. Yeah, always or something. Around forever. Yeah. 1972, legendary video game and home computer Atari Inc. was founded by Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney in Sunnyvale, California. I know of, uh, of Atari. Yeah. They have that logo. It kind of looks like a joystick. So. Yeah, okay. 1973, Live and Let Die, the eighth James Bond film, the first to star Roger Moore, also starring Jane Seymour, uh, was first released in the U.S. Interesting. I said the other day, didn't work for me, Roger Moore, but that's uh, personal. Yeah. 1977, Willie McCovey smashed two home runs in inning for second time, uh, April 12, 1973. I guess Will for the Willie first time. McCovey. And uh, Willie Mays, two great sluggers for the uh, San Francisco uh, Giants that played together. We feared them mm. from uh, Dodger Town. Ah. 1979, heavyweight Muhammad Ali confirmed that his third retirement is final, which it wasn't. <laughs> I love it. It isn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's a personal touch. That's not a professional putting in, and that that's that's somebody coming out. You know, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
1981, Betty Davis Eyes by Kim Carnes returned to the number one slot. That was a good song. Very good. You yes. got Betty Davis Eyes. Also in 1981, Ali Khamenei narrowly escaped an assassination attempt by the Mujahideen E. Khalik when a bomb concealed in a tape recorder exploded on a desk in front of him. I didn't know that. And you just can't trust anything, can you? No. I mean, hell, the amount of times the CIA tried to try to kill uh, uh, Fidel Castro, like they legitimately, like like you've seen in cartoons, you know, like you know, Bugs Bunny gives somebody a cigar and it blows up in their face. Ha ha ha! Yeah. They actually tried that. Really? They actually like like they 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 somehow like infiltrated the maker of his Cuban cigars and then put explosives of it put, put explosives in one, and then uh, it 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 just never like it was it didn't go off. He lit yeah. it. And it didn't go off. And he's just like, what the hell? What the hell? There's a <laughs> stick of dynamite in here. <laughs> Fuck. You know? 1984, Emmy, the 11th Daytime Award presentation. Susan Lockie lost for the fifth time. Well, that's not something that's usually reported. No, that's kind of weird. I guess for the fifth time. Is this in a row? But if it was in a row, it should say so. But well, The duration of actresses or actors, you got to think it was somewhat consistent. Hmm. Also in 1984, UEFA European Championship Final at uh, Parc du Princes in Paris, France. Michel Platini and Bruno Belloni scored as France defeated Spain 2-0. Will be. Mm -hmm. 1986, Ibrahim Babaginda's regime in Nigeria launched the Structural Adjustment Program to restructure the Nigerian economy via deregulation and privatization with the support of the IMF and the World Bank. What a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Mm. 1988, Mike Tyson knocks out Michael Spank, uh, Spink in 91 seconds in Atlantic City uh, with $67 million. What is that? Like, is that how much he made? Or Yeah. Okay. So he, he spanked the Spink <laughs> in a minute 30. Spank, Spink. Spink got spanked. Yeah. Two years later, in 1990, Jose Canseso signed a record $4,700,000 per year Oakland A's contract. Wow. These guys, they make more in a day than I will see in my entire life. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Also in 1990, Salman Rushdie, condemned to death by Iran, contributed $8,600 to help their earthquake victims. Well, he doesn't seem like that bad of a guy. Why was he condemned to death? I have no idea. Like, I don't know. But, you know, look at his face. He kind of has a sinister look to him. Like, hey, hey, hey. He looks like he's got to go. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying he... he, he, he like, like he, he has like the professor hair and like you know the, the the peaceful guy goatee, but the eyes and the eyebrows like it's just kind of the picture doesn't complete in a all around good image. I don't like your looks. You're out of here. Well, I'm not I'm not <laughs> advocating for him to be removed. He just looks suspicious. That's all I'm saying. 1992. I don't want you on my jury. 57 channels uh, and nothing on by Bruce Springsteen peaked at 68. By the way, speaking of jury duty, uh, I found my last, uh, remember back in 2014, I got a summons and I actually had to go? I don't remember, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, I found it. I still have the letter. Ah. Now, I panicked. I'm like, oh crap, is this new? It's like 2014. I'm like, well, I'm very late. So. <laughs> they didn't take you? What a surprise. <laughs> 1993, senior player champion men's golf at TPC of Michigan, Jim Colbert won his lone career major title by one stroke from Raymond Floyd. Also in 1993, Don Henley booed, uh, or he was booed in Milwaukee when he dedicated a song to uh, It's Not Easy Being Green to President Clinton. That's weird. Yeah. You'd think he'd, he'd uh, you know, dedicate it to, like, you know, I don't know, Kermit or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Kermit the Frog. Yeah. 1994, Spalding Gray's uh, one-man show, Gray's Anatomy, closed at Beaumont Theater in New York after eight performances. Dang. Really short. Yeah, that's like a week. 1997, Glastonbury uh, Festival in Pilton, England opened. Here we go again with this dang Glastonbury Festival. The Prodigy and Radiohead headline. Hey, I remember Radiohead. Other performers include Smashing Pumpkins, Ray Davis, Van Morrison, Sting, Beck, Finish, or Fish, and Nancy Griffiths. I remember some of them. Yeah. So. Van Morrison's just been around forever. Yeah. 2001, Pope John Paul II beautified 28 Ukrainian Greek Catholics, including 27 martyrs, most of whom were killed by the Soviet secret police. Beautification took place at the service in Lviv, western Ukraine, during his first visit to this country. 
Interesting. 2005, AMD filed uh, broad antitrust complaints against Intel Corporation in U.S. Federal District Courts, alleging abuse of monopoly powers and antitrust violations. Yep. Two years later, in 2007, Gordon Brown became Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Huh. Never heard of him. He's just one letter away from being, you know, the perfect pastry. Golden, Golden Brown. Brown. Yeah. Oh, One year Pretty later, hard. 2008, Bill Gates. Boo! Boo, Bill Gates! Stepped down as chairman of Microsoft Corporation to work full-time for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Yep, and ever since then, we've had Zika, we've had COVID, Delta, uh, Delta... Uh, Monkeypox, you know, all this stuff. Like, all of which he's directly tied into with a, every single thing. You know, the, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, All you know, they have all these labs and everything. They're tied hand in hand with everything over the past, you know, 15, 20 years. So, tied into it in what way? Though? Like, we you know, like, know. well, like, I mean, you know. Are they trying to solve it or are they Well, no, they're causing it. Like, for example, the Zika virus, I'm, you know, I'm not sure if That's you remember that. Statement. Well, no, it, it's been d proven because. There, uh, the Zika virus was actually being studied in a facility owned by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in Central America. Okay. And then the first cases that when it started coming out was directly around that facility. Just like what happened to Wuhan. What a surprise. Okay. 2008, another Glastonbury Festival in Pilton. Uh, Kings of Leon, Jay-Z, and The Verve headline with other performers including Leonard Cohen, Neil Diamond, The Ting Tings, Sinead O'Connor, Gilbert O'Sullivan, Joan Baez, Jimmy Cliff, Suzanne Vega, and Crowded House. Well, that is a crowded house. Yeah. And I recognize some of the Neil Diamond, of course. Jay-Z. Joan, Joan Baez, of course. I don't know who that is. I don't know who Joan Baez is? No. Nope. But uh, do you know who uh, Jay-Z is? Oh, okay. Well, that actually surprises me. Oh, God. 2017, Mark Zucker Nazi, I mean Zuckerberg, announced Facebook has reached 2 billion monthly users. Has it really, though? Has it really? You know, like, you know, with all this Twitter stuff that's coming yeah. out, you know, all the bots, bots and everything, yeah. and the dead internet theory videos, you know, I've shown you recently. Yeah. You know, you know, in 2017, that's five years ago. What do you want to bet half of those are bots? Like, you know, that yeah. sounds astounding, but, you know, we live in astounding yeah. times. Yeah. You just don't so, know. You know, and, and actually, some people uh, out there theorize that we actually long ago surpassed the humans to bot ratios. It's more bots than, than people I've on the that. internet now. I've heard that. Um, because, like, you know, think about it. I'm not on Facebook or Twitter. You know, you're not on it. Well, like, you know, like, your, your generation doesn't count. But, like, most people... Excuse me. Well, as far as internet, are you presence, already timing us out? Holy cow! You're a little premature. Anyway, um, but most people like me, you know, like you know, they're they're they they they're not really active on Twitter, you know, like Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, you know, whatever it is and everything. I have no idea what you guys are doing. I, I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. I have a Discord, and that's it. There you go. And that's it. Anyway, 2017, uh, tennis star Serena Williams posed, uh, or posed pregnant and nude for the cover of Vanity Fair. Wow, really? Hmm. No, that's, that's, that's just tasteless. 2018, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy announced he will retire on July 31st. Did he? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. 2018 as well, Malaysian police announced seizure of goods linked to former Prime Minister Najib Razak worth $273 million, the biggest in the country's history, including 567 handbags and 14 tiaras. Tiaras? You know what huh. a tiara is? Well, I know what a tiara is. I thought they were talking about drugs. You know, seizure of goods. Yeah. So, like, you know, 567 handbags. But I guess well, those are all, purses. It's all... Counterfeit. Okay, okay, so that's what it is. Yeah. Man, dude, what world do I live in where immediately I think of drugs? <laughs> that's not good. Like, and again, like, you know, the border's just a couple hundred miles south of me, so. 2018, Democratic uh, Representative Joseph Crowley was defeated in the New York primary election by liberal challenger AOC. <laughs> Bitch of a woman. I, I won't even call her a woman. She, she hasn't earned the right. She's not classy like one. She's a female. And that concludes the uh, the main body. But before uh, 
before we continue, like, uh, there is some, um, yeah. like, you know, right here, this guy, he set sail from the Mexican port, you know, to explore the west coast of North America on behalf ah. of the Spanish Empire. Oh, okay. So, like, you know, and that, that makes sense, because Mexico was owned by Spain. Right, so, right. And that was in 15 what? Uh, 1542. 1542, okay. Yeah. Um... You know, a couple other interesting things here. Uh, like, uh, Liberty Bell returned home to Philadelphia after British departure in 1778. So after we won the, uh, the Revolutionary right. War, uh, then it went back home. Um, and then there's a couple other cool ones that I know I'm skipping over. Uh, but here's another good one. Uh, the first solo circumnavigation of the globe. Oh. When was that? Uh, 1898. Canadian. Whoa, whoa, there you go. Well, now, yeah. now it makes sense. <laughs> um, but uh, there's one here. Uh, the first aerial refueling in Look 1923. Jeez. Biplanes. Good lord. You know, I thought that was like a relatively new thing, but no, they've been doing that since, you know, you know almost the beginning. A lot of stuff they, they tried long, many years ago that nobody realizes. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty but, cool. But think about it. Like, how did we have a vehicle that was that had the power to hold excess fuel you know because you know flight was still pretty much in its infancy i mean we've already gone through the first world war but that's when it was really you know pushed well, to its absolute limits he doesn't have excess fuel he's just uh going up on a short run giving him fuel and comes down with whatever's left so he doesn't have excess fuel. that is true so yeah because because now we have aircraft that are just constantly up there yeah like yeah and actually, you remember that movie Stealth? I'm not sure if you've seen it. Mm, uh, it's, it's a, it's about like, um, um, and it has one of my absolute favorite scenes in, in all of movies. Um, but like, it's like you know this this uh, this this AI this drone um, that like because uh, you know these, these, there's these like you know brand new cutting edge like you know like just out of research and development stealth aircraft that are like super powerful and very stealthy and, and all that stuff. They decided to put a, an AI in one of them, you know, oh. and then so like you know as they were testing things, you know, the AI started doing something, uh, and then it, it was like dun, 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 dun. it's just like, oh what did it just do? Oh downloaded uh, downloaded songs off the internet. The guy's like which ones? And he's just like all of them. <laughs> but they, that's how powerful this robot was. Like within the seconds, it downloaded every song on the internet. And then so, like, you know, just to give you the, you know, the computing power of this machine and everything. All this is fiction, I hope. I hope to God. Um, <laughs> but then again, eventually it won't be, if it's not already. But uh, then it went rogue, and then um, and then uh, then they had to uh, take it down. But because it was an AI and everything, it has no fear. Right. So, like, it doesn't care. So it knocks down, like, one or two of the of these, uh, you know, like, top of the cream of the, the cream of the cream of the cream of the crop. Yeah. You know? Like pilots, I think one or two of them die, and like you know, the last guy or whatever, like uh, lives and and knocks it out. But like, uh, but during that movie, like there was like these giant facilities up in the air, like not facilities, but like these huge tanks full of fuel being held aloft by by giant balloons. Um, and then uh, these these uh, these stealth aircrafts, they were also VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, so they can go up there and hover. So they don't have to constantly fly, like you know how like oh, we okay. see refueling yeah. that yeah. they have to match their altitude, yeah. their speed, yeah. and everything. No, you just come up, hook up, and you just hover there, you know, like a helicopter. Yeah. And then so so the, so the problem with that is that um, you have like you know this AI, it can just constantly refuel. It can never doesn't never need to have to land. Nobody can shoot it down, and it now controls the skies of the world. Jeez. And that's the problem. So you know, at one point they had to blow up the whole fueling station to get it out of there because it kept refueling. And it kept knocking things down, you know. Good grief. So, okay. But yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, we, we strayed way off track with that. Anyway, moving on into Burst. Uh, 1462, Louis, uh, or Louis the Twelfth, the Just, who was a king of France from 1498 through 1515. He was born in Chateau de Bois, or de, de Blois, France. He died in 1515. Charles the Ninth of France. Uh, was born on this date in 1550. Uh, he was also called Carl, uh, the King of France from 1560 to 74. He was born in Saint Germain, L.A. in France, dying in 1574. Oh, well, you know that's when he stopped becoming king. Okay, yeah. So, so they die on <laughs> they die in office. How about that? 1872. Paul Lawrence Dunbar was a U.S. poet and novelist, 
uh, of oak and ivory. He was born in Dayton, Ohio, dying in 1906. Helen Keller. Ah. Hey. Born on this date in 1880, she was a U.S. political or an American political activist, an author, the story of my life, and a lecturer, who was the first deaf-blind person to earn a bachelor's, uh, or B.A. What's a B.A.? Badass? Bachelor, <laughs> bachelor of Arts. Oh, uh, okay. Or badass, whatever you want. Well, I mean, you know, I can't think of anything more badass than, you know, learning how to speak without being able oh, to hear or see. I, I, I can't you know, even comprehend how she overcame like, that. Like, you know, you, 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 you feel the water, you can feel it, yeah. but you can't see it, you can't hear it, you know, it's just there. Yeah. And then, you know, the water, like, like, how, how do you get there? Yeah. Like. I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, whoever that teacher was, was like, I, I used to remember that teacher's name. Like, uh, but like, whoever that teacher was, was an amazing teacher. Amazing teacher and amazing student. Yeah. She had to be brilliant. Yeah. Uh, she was born in uh, Tuscumbia in Alabama, dying in 1968. Well, Alabama of all places. Wow. I thought she was born somewhere in the Midwest or something. I had no idea she was in the South. Uh, you know what? I didn't know that either. <laughs> I mean, no offense, but that makes that makes her disabilities, you know, like more understandable. Um no offense, are you kidding me? I was born That's in totally offensive. I was born in Tennessee. I'm a Southerner. I'm allowed to say, say no it. more. There you go. Prove your point. <laughs> oh, see, see, I, I'm stupid. So, <laughs> so, so, you know, like that's I see that that's another thing. So, like, I can make fun of other stupid people because I'm one of them. Yeah. 1930, Ross Perot was born on the state. He was a U.S. businessman for electronic data systems and Perot systems. He was a billionaire and a presidential candidate for 1992 and 1996. Born in Texarkana, Texas, dying in 2019, just two years ago. Yeah. And that's where Bob is, somewhere out in Texarkana. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, that's well, where Ross he was. Perot, uh, who ran as an independent, did really, really well. I really liked him as running as a president. Hmm. Yeah. You want to just fix the country? You had common sense. You know, let's fix it. Well, that's probably why I never got in office. Maybe so. 1959, Janusz Kaminski was a Polish, or is a Polish cinema, uh, cinematographer for Schindler's List. Mm. Uh, born in Zabiek, Poland. J.J. Huh. Abrams was born today in 1966. He is a U.S. writer, producer, and director, uh, director. Lost, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, born in New York City, New York. Well, that explains everything about him. Darn New Yorkers. <laughs> then again, I'm I'm descended from one. Oh, God. 1971, uh, 1975, Tobey Maguire, the best Spider-Man who have ever uh, played Spider-Man. The original, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, U.S. actor, Spider-Man and The Great Gatsby. Yeah, that's right. He was in The Great Gatsby. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio played Gatsby. Um, oh. And this guy played, like, you know, the narrator, the main guy in the book. Oh, okay. You know? He was born in Santa Monica, California. Hey, that's not far from here. Right? Like, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, like, you know, San Francisco is, is a bit far. It's in the same state. California is just a long state. So, well, But Santa Monica is not that far. If you compare it to New York, San Francisco is pretty close. Well, yeah. 1984, Khloe Kardashian is a U.S. reality television star keeping up with the Kardashians born in Los Angeles, California she's one of those people who's famous not for any other reason than just being famous she has no redeeming qualities she does nothing to help anybody she's, she's well, just a scum of the earth I mean I have no idea about the Kardashians at all but you don't know what kind of redeeming quality she has she might have fantastic redeeming qualities believe me she doesn't you don't know yes I do Anyway, moving on into deaths, we have Alfonso V of Aragon, died today in uh, 1458. Uh, hold on a second. Don't <coughs> 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 uh, no, you hate it when you just have to sneeze? You were going to say something? Um, no. Uh, this guy was uh, also known as the Magnificent, or the Magnanimous. Uh, he was the king of Aragon, Sicily, and Naples. Uh, Naples under Alonso or Alfonso the First. He died at the age of sixty-one or sixty-two. One of those. They're close. Just one year off, you know. What's a year? What's three hundred sixty-five days between friends, you know? Uh, but what does magnanimous mean? Let's see here. Magnanimous. No. no. Oh, wrong button. 
Uh, generous or forgiving, especially toward a rival or less powerful person. Okay. Well, that's a nice yeah. thing to be. Yeah. Uh, let's see who else died on the state. Sophie Germain died on the state in 1831. She was a French mathematician. She was 55 uh, when she passed. Now that's odd, a woman being a mathematician in the 1800s. She's a witch! Burn her! <laughs> yeah, look out. 1844, Joseph Smith... Uh, ju uh, junior, uh, U.S. founder of LDS, shot by a mob at 38. LDS. Who's LDS? Latter-day Saints. Oh, okay. Oh, Mormon. Joseph Smith. There you go. Okay, so this is this, this is, is the, the liar. This is Junior. No, he's the founder of the LDS. Oh, wait, no, this is Junior. So this is not the guy who founded Mormonism. This is an it's offshoot of Mormonism. Okay. Well. No, LDS is uh, the Mormon. Okay, so who 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 created the Mormons? Joseph Smith. But I don't never have heard Junior after. Maybe it is. It probably is him. Let's let me back up. I just didn't know he was a Junior. Uh, well, you know what? Let's see here. Who founded Mormons? Joseph Smith. No. Uh, no junior. Then. Assassinated on June twenty seventh. So this is the same guy, eighteen forty four in Carthage, Illinois. Do you see a Junior on there anywhere? No. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay. Joseph Smith Jr. Not there. Though. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's yeah, here. Okay. Okay. This is the wiki. So it is him. Yeah, I just took the Jr. as being a son. All right. Well, you so want to know? You want to know my reaction to uh, to well? Yeah. No, yeah. Lodi Dodd. Well, Lodi Dodd. Lodi D. Lodi Dodd. Uh, died today in 1960. She was a British all-around athlete. Wimbledon in 1887 and 88, and in 1891 and 93. Died at the age of 88. The choice of hats wasn't great. That's a cool hat. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it kind of goes with her shoulders, you know? It's like an ensemble. You know, poofy shoulders, you know? The bill won't even keep the sun out of your eyes. Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's form over function in that aspect, unfortunately. I'm always about function over form, you know? Yes. I'm very utilitarian, but women are very vain, so... Wow, your choice of words is astounding. Am I wrong? Your choice of words is astounding. Am I wrong? Your choice of words. Am I wrong? <laughs> Moving on. Tave, uh, Tove Jensen uh, died on the stage in 2001. He was a Finnish author and uh, yeah, illustrator. Uh, Mumies died at the age of 86. Mumies. Or Moomins. Moomins. Is that like a human but on the moon? A moomin? That, that you got me there. I don't know. I don't know. Also in 2001, Jack Lemmon passed away on the States. He was a U.S. actor, Days of Wine and Roses and Missing, uh, died of colon cancer and uh, metastatic cancer of the bladder at 76. Ugh. That's That sounds horrible. Yeah. Colon cancer should have been treated yeah. early. Yeah. But whatever that bladder cancer thing is, he got hit twice. Well, may have gotten out of the colon and into yeah. the bladder, most likely. Can cancer split off like that? Of course. Well, no, I, mean, like, well, I know that one cancer, but, but can one cancer make another type of cancer? Of course. Like, because like, like, this is colon cancer, but this is something else, metastatic cancer. So, like... Of course. Of course huh. it can jump. Well, no, I'm not talking about the act of jumping. I'm talking about, like... Well, that's uh, what creates it. I mean, it's a, there, a cancer is defined as, you know... Cell splitting in your body is an enemy. No, but, but what I'm so, saying is, can leukemia, like a bone cancer, cause another, you know, another yes. type of cancer, like a brain cancer? Yes. Okay. And it happened to your mom. Well, well, no, like she had leukemia and then it went into her lungs. Did it turn into no, another? It, yes, it went into a number of different organs and everything else. It's but did it turn into another classification of cancer? Once it goes into an organ or something, then it's a different classification. It comes out of the blood and goes somewhere else, yes, then it's a different cancer. Huh. I'm going to have to study up a bit on that. Because like, I know that a cancer is, is a mutation, and actually our body fights possible cancers like thousands of times every day. Yeah, yeah. You know, every day. Yeah. So. Yeah, by the way, uh, speaking of cancer, there's a video I want to show you about, like, why do whales not get cancer? They don't, because they're too big. Like, uh, there, there's apparently a certain size where cancer just can't survive, you know, of an organism. It's really? weird. Yeah, let me show you this video. Because uh, uh, this this episode is actually over. So, um, 
That concludes the show. Once again, you can check the underbar in the description for any, any links that you may be interested in, which also includes uh, uh, everything Omni Coalition. For your dose of past events daily, we stream every day at 10 in the morning Pacific time. For all of you and all of us, I am Alexander. I am the Golden Loon. And you are you. And until you catch us tomorrow, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection, rate five thumbs, and subscribe. Until then, toodles. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs>